morning guys, LCG here, and I just wanted to give a really quick update about my garden because of one major thing. I, for the very first time, am half pest. Let me see if I can find them. Oh, uh, there's one. Back there, and oh, they're underneath the leaves now. So I have these, these bugs there. They started off small, obviously. Let's see if I can get this guy. They started off as fairly small bugs and then they obviously got bigger. And at first I thought that they were some sort of spider. You see that back there, that red thing? So I thought that they were a spider at one point because they were so tiny and uh, small and then they grew bigger and they actually started on my cucumber and now I guess that I'm having you can see that my tomatoes are ripening now that I have ripe tomatoes they kind of moved over to the tomatoes even when they were green they have moved over here um, and so now these guys are much bigger you're seeing like the red ones there's it's hard to see that guy crawling there is a black one they start off these like bright red ones they've gotten gotten bigger and darker um, and I looked them up and apparently they're just a common well not yeah a common leaf footed bug and uh, kind of that that's all I got um, and for tomatoes it says that once my tomatoes start turning red as they currently are so you can see that beautiful tomato there um, they will make them turn yellow, apparently, or give them yellow spots. It doesn't say that it will harm the fruit or the plant or anything like that, just that it's going to cause some yellowing of ripe tomatoes. Um, so that's obviously on the small end of possible problems, but it's still a problem. So, so it's still a problem. So I went ahead today and I got um, this stuff. Captain Jack's dead bugs and it says that it kills all of these things leaf footed bugs aren't on there but I guess leaf footed bugs is not a specific type of bug it's just a name um, and I asked and she said that it wor works on everything even the aphids and if it can kill an aphid it should kill anything um, and it says that it's uh, for organic gardening so I can still eat my tomatoes after this as well as everything else in the garden so I'm fighting those guys pretty hard now and hopefully they go away like they really they sit clustered on top of my tomato plants usually but I just you can see that the, the fruit and the leaves are really wet and that's because I gave it a really really vigorous spraying so they scattered off of the tomatoes themselves but they're everywhere um, other than that everything is looking great um, here's the green bean plants and you can see I have green beans. I've actually been, also there's another one of them apparently. Um, so I've been uh, harvesting green beans. I haven't done a video on that, so I should. Um, but I just picked them and we've been eating them in stir fries. Um, these tomato plants over here are looking excellent, getting bigger. I had one little bitty uh, flower, there it is. Um, so I don't, I don't think it got pollinated though, so there's that. Basil still looking good and the cucumbers are looking good. Um, these guys are what started the problem because I didn't see the bugs until I had these cucumbers. And as you can see, or maybe you can't because it's dark over here, um, I had a, I have a little cucumber that might soon turn into a, oh, so hard, uh, there, that might soon turn into a actual cucumber um but they're doing good branching out flowering all that stuff anyway that's my very quick update i'm going to fight this pest problem and hopefully uh, i will still have tomatoes and the pest will go away anyway thanks for watching have a good day